today we're looking at true whelks of the Atlantic coast of America. Starting up north, we got the wavy whelk, which ranges from Europe through the Arctic down through northern Jersey. This guy is about 5 inches at its biggest and cannot survive temperatures over 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 29 degrees Celsius. This is also commonly called the northern whelk. There's only one more true whelk up in New England, being the 10 ridged whelk ranging from Nova Scotia down to Massachusetts. This is one of the prettiest shells found up in New England, being 3 to 4 inches and often referred to as the New England Neptune. Farther south down the coast, there's a few small true whelks like the mottled spindle ranging from North Carolina through the West Indies. That one being a single inch, and this next one measuring in at an inch and a quarter. The cross-banded spindle ranging through the Gulf. And the intricate Bailey shell ranges the southern tip of Florida in the West Indies and is half an inch. Now on to some neat ones. Here we got the crown conch ranging the Gulf of Mexico and being about five inches big. To me, it's a similar shape and size to the Florida Fighting Conch, even inhabiting the same range. But a Florida Fighting Conch has a stromboid notch, placing the Florida Fighting Conch in a separate family. Probably the most known whelk is the knobbed whelk, inhabiting from Florida to Massachusetts. This shell typically grows to 9 inches, but some grow to 12. This shell is often called conch or conch and eats cockles and clams or other bivalves. The knobbed whelk is a state shell of Georgia and New Jersey, but New Jersey used to have a different state shell before it was over harvested, that shell being the channeled whelk, living from the Gulf to Massachusetts and growing 8 inches. It's a plain shell in the north and sometimes striped in the south. They also have an introduced range in the San Francisco Bay. The lightning whelk is found from the Gulf to South Carolina and has been found up to 15 inches long. This shell's most notable difference is that it opens to the left as opposed to the right like most whelks. The perverse whelk, ranging from the Carolinas to Florida and being up to 8 inches long, is noted by the Peterson Field Guide to be able to open right or left. Once regarded as a subspecies of knobbed whelk, the more bent up swollen one shown on the left is now considered a separate species. Many do not know the shell is identifiable from the knobbed whelk, and many more do not know that other whelk species could have a small chance to open left as well. A supposed 1 in 15,101 chance for a knobbed whelk to be born opening to the left. I myself have found two in the state of New Jersey well outside the range of any left opening whelk. Lastly, the fig whelk, which lives from the Gulf up to the Carolinas, grown to about 4 or 5 inches, and is not to be confused with the paper fig, which inhabits a similar range, but is classed just outside the family. The turnip whelk being honorably mentioned due to it only inhabiting Mexico. 